What kind of jobs and careers can you get with a biomedical science degree? This is probably the most burning question any biomedical science student has on their minds. Whether you just started, or halfway in, or for some of you, you even start panicking right before you graduate. Typically in your head there's probably two options, right? In biomedical science you either work in a lab performing diagnostic or research experiments, or you're outside the lab coordinating what those in the lab have to do. Obviously this is oversimplified because there's much more beyond bench jobs and research. And I promise this video series will make you a lot wiser and more informed about your future job and career options with a biomedical science degree. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any new videos. Now let's dig into it as broadly as possible. But wait, how about I first prove to you that there's plenty of jobs and careers for biomedical science graduates? How about I start rambling off a list of jobs you can get with a biomedical science degree until I'm out of breath. Sound good? Ready? Here we go. <gasps> biomedical scientist or medical lab technician, research associate, research scientist, lab manager, clinical trial assistant, clinical trial coordinator, medical science liaison, pharmacovigilance manager, technical sales specialist, application scientist, field service engineer, product specialist, account manager, bioinformatician, biostatistician, supply chain officer, medical writer or medical communicator, medical art developer, patent officer, project manager, medical sales representative, quality assurance officer, high school or college teacher, professor, tech development officer, tech transfer specialist, automation engineer, validation engineer, Engineer, data scientist, biotech complaint officer, technical writer, clinical data manager, medical affairs manager, epidemiologist, marketing communication specialist, business development manager, freelance or CRO consultant, grant facilitator, health policy advisor, etc. etc. Okay, now let me catch my breath first. Whew, that's quite a list right there. So what I thought when editing this video is how about I give some pro tips to you guys. Let me drink some coffee first. On um, when you search for your job, that you should look out for the job titles because the job title, in many cases, different companies might list different job titles, but they actually mean the same. So my actual advice is that you should really go and check out the job description and search for what they describe, what your daily function would be in that company. Because in some companies, some Technicians might be called scientists and some scientists in some companies might be expected to work in the lab So check that out. All right now an important thing to realize is that you should not be withheld from exploring a job opportunity If the education requirements do not literally ask for a bachelor or master in biomedical science Let me show you with some examples of job vacancies Here for example, they ask for a clinical data manager you see the desired skills and experience listed and the first two bullet points are some specific technical knowledge that they ask but I highlighted the education requirements in yellow in these examples so as you can see here for becoming or doing a job as a clinical data manager they ask for a bachelor's degree or university degree so a master's in medical or paramedical in parenthesis biology biomedical sciences pharmacy veterinary etc mathematics even or equivalent by experience so this is a broad range of base educations where biomedical science is listed so this means that someone with a medical background or a paramedical background that they studied can do this job so there's competition from different educational backgrounds that can apply for this job then also yeah i recommend like i said in the tip always look what they they ask more specifically so some bullet points here ask for uh, biotech experience it's a plus sometimes it's a plus means that you will have an advantage if you do have the requirements that apply to these bullet points for instance they also ask for instance minimum of five years experience in clinical data management and this is also important some job levels or some job vacancies or opportunities won't become available until you have some experience some prior experience in another field or in the same field or in a junior job option so that's also a thing to consider let's take a look at example two so this company asks for a senior or non-senior research associate in kinetic profiling unit 
your profile. You hold A, and then in yellow, a degree of laboratory technician, industrial engineer, bachelor or master in molecular biology, biochemistry, biotechnology, or equivalent. And the biomedical science degree falls within the or equivalent. Then they also list uh, you have experience in certain yeah, um, Kinexa, Cartera, Proteon, so that's uh, techniques and machines to do some kinetic profiling on. And then some soft skills, solid analytical problem solving skills, proactive mindset, high sense for quality, uh, team oriented attitude, the ability to report and discuss experimental results in English. So these are soft skills and these are not to be underestimated. So the first bullet point here are technical skills that they ask for. Below that, they ask for soft skills and this will be also very important when you apply for a job they look for also here they look for people who are passionate fast learners team oriented flexible so there's a reason why companies list these sort of traits because they are looking for people who can uh, adapt themselves in the company culture the work environment and where they can thrive take home message for this example is that the biomedical science degree falls within the or equivalent so if it's not directly mentioned you can still get into that job and how do I know I'm 100% sure because I actually applied on this type of job vacancy where they listed or equivalent I'm a biomedical graduate and I landed that job in biotech I worked there even for five years and got a promotion so I'm the living evidence that you can land a job where they list the requirements where the biomedical science degree is not even mentioned Example three, medical science liaison for oncology. About you, the essential requirements. First bullet point again, highlighted in yellow. Possesses a master degree in a biomedical field, MD, pharmaceutical or biomedical science, plus relevant experience in similar role or possess PhD in relevant domain. So apart from the plus here, biomedical field. So MD, that's someone who did medicine. That's a doctor, a physician. Pharmaceutical, someone who studied pharmacy. So for this job, you can actually compete with people who have a medical degree or a pharmaceutical degree. You're also available to do this job. So always check the about you sections or the your profile sections in a job vacancy and sort that out for yourself.